Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. Angela was an inspiration to everyone who came into contact with her. She was kind, she was loving, she was very, very caring. She was always smiling and radiant. It was never any trouble for Angela to offer help and support to anyone who needed it because that was her nature. I really appreciate you joining me today and this story comes from Wolverhampton and involves a man that has been convicted of murdering his partner but it has been revealed during the court case he previously has killed two other partners. So I thought it was really important to highlight the law that is Claire's law. The Claire's law was brought in in 2009 for a woman called Claire Wood who was killed by her former partner and she didn't know that he'd had a previous history of being violent to partners. So if you are with somebody and you think that they may have a violent history with their partners, you can definitely get information about that. And in some of these cases, I believe this may have helped the women that were the victim of Theodore Johnson. Theodore Johnson has been jailed for 30 years for the murder of Angela Best in 2016. But he has actually killed two of his other partners. He murdered them with claw hammers and strangled them in fits of rage in their homes. One of them was the mother of his own child. But Theodore was still out even after the two murders to actually kill again. Theodore threw himself under the train in Hertfordshire after he killed Angela Best in 2016. When the police went to their home in North London, they discovered Angela's body in the living room and the bout was still wrapped around her neck and a blood-stained hammer was nearby. A post-mortem examination revealed that she was hit at least six times with the hammer. Johnson had survived the injuries after he threw himself on the train track, but he was in a wheelchair. He admitted manslaughter by diminished responsibility, but denied murder, but changed his plea on the first day of the trial for Angela Best's murder. The old Bailey was told that the garage worker twice been convicted of manslaughter after killing his wife, Yvonne Johnson, in November 1981. The couple had had an argument and he smashed her in the head with a vase and pushed her over a ninth floor balcony in a flat in Wolverhampton in the West Midlands. 12 years later, he was convicted of killing his partner, also named Yvonne, by diminished responsibility. The couple had a daughter together and they'd moved from Wolverhampton to North London, Finsby Park. And in a very similar case to Angela's, he killed her when he got angry after their relationship had broken up. The court heard that he'd met the mum of Fort Angela in 1995 when he was released from a mental health hospital after killing his second partner. She was not aware of his previous violence and she had later found letters that had revealed that he'd killed his previous partner. Their relationship came to an end in 2016 and she began seeing another man and this angered Johnson and he went on to kill her because of this. She arrived at his home to help him to fill in a passport application to take to the Jamaican embassy. But when she turned up, Johnson had killed her. He then threw himself on the train track at 3.22 the same day and he suffered horrendous injuries, but he survived. Instead of accepting that she wanted to move on, he decided to kill her like he did with all of his partners in the past. The family have spoken out about the outrage of the murder and the fact that nothing was done to prevent it and how much more could have been done as well. These women were the victim of a failed system in some senses and also a massive reminder of the precautions that you need to take as well when you meet new people and how long you need to be knowing somebody before you do things like move in with them and have children. So my condolences to all of the women that have lost their life in this story and I hope a lot has been done to try to prevent this from occurring in the future. So please pay respects in the comments and I'll be back again very shortly with some more news from the West Midlands. Peace.